one thing um, I forgot to uh, say, I was going to say it and I forgot, is that my slave bitch pounded on my door to stop the upload of information. And then he said, are you going tonight like that, like commandingly or abusively or hatefully to me and condemningly? Today is not the day um, that I usually get to see my children and that he goes there and pretends to be my late husband crazily looking nothing like him at all at all and he's not human and my late husband Cliff was of course um, and I loved him well beyond his murder I never stopped loving him uh, but he was righteous and faithful to me and killed and died with me in a secret terrible way um, and I didn't know because he was immediately replaced by one of these things that was nothing like him and cruel sometimes they're gone altogether and then it just arrives at my house in a car and if I don't let it in it drills through the lock and I say it because I don't think it's actually male I don't think it's actually that size either. But it pounded on the door and it said, are you going tonight? And it was wearing a shirt that said, Papa Bear. Um, my cliff was called Papa by my babies. I was Mama. I am still. I should be Mommy by now or Mom. And I am too, King Sebastian. And I miss my children all the time. But if I go over there to see my kidnapped children at a so-called visit, I am attacked um, over and over again by the hateful beings there who were not my family, but claim to be my family and are in a house that I inherited. That was my parents' dream house. I inherited all my family's wealth. I am an heiress. They left everything to me rest of my family dying except my children and I'm executor to hand things out to my children I have all the land in Georgia I have the land in Florida I have other lands too I own a lot of houses but because these nothings are there pretending to be my family um, squatting in my houses I have found it really difficult to file like for the life insurance that Cliff left me because this thing would just pop up and it says he was Cliff. He has a great interest in that. He's criminal. I've reported it over and over again, but unfortunately, two things like that. Though they helped me, they always do, <laughs> except when they don't and God crushes them. But, um, but now in heaven, I've reported it to real things and real beings and the angels know and hate them kill them mercilessly again and again but this thing over time and also those people have tried to say again and again that they're going to get full custody of my children they're not even human they're not family they don't have custody um, they signed over custody to my dead sister and um, dead brother-in-law which means it just goes to me, but the court paper was false and signed by a false judge, so it was never entered at all, anywhere. And they said that I had to pay huge child support, which I didn't know. They owe me so much money. Um, and provide medical insurance for my children. That did they have them that they did not have? And if they did, they had insurance because um, God made the guy here opposing his cleft pay it. And I often called him Cliff not knowing. I just thought maybe Cliff has gone crazy and treated me terribly and so did my family. So it came out that no, they were all crazy and not human and had no memory of the past or who I was or anything um, and treated my children with tortures and um, aggressively and rudely and hostily.
<laughs> my husband says, so he knocked on the So he knocked on the door. He said, are you going tonight? Um, pretending it's Thursday and there's visit with the children over there at my late parents' house. That's my house. And saying, um, saying it like, because you're always not going and uh, you don't love them at all. You're like skipping out on visit when really if I go there, they hurt me. And if I don't go there, the children don't go um, and aren't tortured by them. And when the children are there, I worry. Um, but right now the situation is such that the only time I get to see the children uh, in my physical presence and not an extension of my physical presence because I'm the goddess with that gifting from God to be in many places at once but from a central hub and that's here, me um, it was judged too dangerous to go over there I'm often there for a few minutes to kiss them, and away I go. I have rarely seen them for the last nine years. But they have been safer while I underwent these tortures and travels. I hope they've been safer and better. Um, Sebastian, though, was in the area and had to bear so much more. And, uh, go to school with these nothings and all of that. <sighs> yes, husband. But he knocked on the door and he said, are you going tonight? And then I said, no. And like, why are you asking me? <laughs> go away, it's scary. <laughs> and same thing, claiming there's a chicken when there's not. And um, and he said, yeah, I didn't think so. Like, But the what he said underneath was this, you are a terrible mother. You never go see your children. You have abandoned them. I am only going to visit, and I'm the only one they see, and they love me much better than you, and they love your parents much better than you. You know, my parents have died, and I can see them <laughs> in uh, extension. They're just elsewhere in the world. <laughs> and then, when I refused to go, because he was trying to interrupt my uploads, uh, because the king said the children can't come tonight and cancel it yesterday, last night. It's not even Thursday. <laughs> anyway, that's what happened. But he threatens me and says I'm a terrible mother. And then if I go there, they torture and attack me. And sometimes I'm sick for days with whatever they're doing. It's been discovered and uh, broken. And yet they're hostile. And last time they viciously threatened me and threw me out of the house and threatened to grab me. Now these are not humans. I won't be in a place with my children where people can manhandle me. I didn't grow up like that. Lift hates it all. If he doesn't live here, he's not allowed really to come here, except briefly in projection. <laughs>